Hello and welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver One. First hole refers to a curious point in the lake where, when finning due east, you may discover a circular depression. One can only surmise as to how this circular feature came to be. Perhaps a small meteorite struck the lake surface eons ago and caused this smooth indentation on the lake bed through water pressure. Or perhaps it's an underwater sinkhole that is no longer active. Hopefully, the feature has been here a very long time and very interesting regardless because it's the deepest point here, taking you from less than 9 metres down to a little below 10 metres. The Hurst Hall site offers lots of choice in dive booty, so heading east you have that deeper depression where you'll reach a little over 10 metres plus in the hole. Of course, shallow waters offer divers plenty of BT, that's bottom time, to explore this area and pick up lots of different types of treasure, from fishing gear to yachting and paddle power associated finds. Always remember to take your goodie bag and a jam jar just to put the hooks and things in. A camera would also be useful diving Bassenthwaite because you never know when you're going to come across a rare Vendace fish and for that matter you'll want to film your buddies picking up all the booty on the bottom. For paddle boarders, kayakers and, or canoeists wishing to circumnavigate Bassenthwaite you probably want to be in the far north or here at the far southern end of Bassenthwaite Crucially for those using paddle power, she is about four and a half miles in length. Divers fin at about one mile per hour, but since I would only have air for about 90 minutes at these depths, that would leave me high and dry with about three miles left to go. <laughs> so there's no chance of circumnavigating. For those wondering what we get up to down under, I'll show a couple of plans that we would try here. Explore the depression or try some search patterns, but divers please note that this end of the lake is more like normal silt, unlike the River Ouse end, which is relatively clean, with vis here at around 5 metres. Welcome to Hurst Hall on the A66, and this layby lies at the southern end of Bassenthwaite. It is the final lay-by before entering into Keswick. There are no other access points to the shoreline after this lay-by. Every one of these is just about different. Usually you pull them up, but this one you've got to push in. <laughs> okay. So the first site was there, the second one was over here. Then we've got the sailing club, but that's all padlocked up. So I can't talk to those guys, came down, Beck Wyforp, and then here is Hurst Hall. So those are your access points for the lake this side. Half over there. Path here, and another one leading over there.
just going to have a little walk around. Because if you wanted to head south, this is the, the spot to be. Bassenthwaite is often described as the quiet lake. And I'll repeat that, the quiet lake. Well, it's rarely that. It's a lake for rare osprey birds and for rare vendace fish. It's a great, great place for wild swimming, paddle boarding and yachting too. But it's also a great place to view the RAF from down on the ground as they roar past. Now for anyone wanting to find out and to film them uh, coming over this lake, and we're only talking about, what, 30 metres height? Um, there's an REF link which I've placed in the description, so do take a look at that link. Hurst Hall refers to a curious point in the lake, taking you from less than 9 metres down to a little below 10 metres. While we were filming on the northern side here, three anglers claimed they had taken 12 pike each and released on the north side where they normally fish. Another angler having just arrived on site and on hearing this info made short work of getting his gear into action, casting off with his spinning lure in record time. We wish some tight lines on those ferocious pike. Okay guys, so we're out here in Bath and Slate and this is actually flooded. Um, normally you've got about 30 metres of shingle out here. So you get past that and you're down into silt. And depth, talking about 30 metres, heading straight out here. So the only thing to watch for is the yachts and canoes and paddle boards. Okay. Well, these fellas are loving a dip in the water. Think we can have a nice quiet lake, please? Well, the warden said <laughs> we have a nice quiet lake here on Bassenthwaite. The water bikes rasping, that thing flying in the air up there, and then the RAF bombing by. Oh well, never mind. The warden's promised us a quiet lake, but there you go.
This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver One on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below. We love reading them. Thank you. We'll be uploading videos every Friday. See you next Friday. Come on and talk to me so you can see what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. I want to know what's going on. When you look at the pictures, it's pretty brutal. They yank a chair from under her feet. She basically falls stagger into the ground. She's punched in the stomach. I hmm. don't care if she's a, a deplorable human being. Those were ugly images, not what you expect from British police. I agree. I agree. I think the demonstration was out to cause a bit of a, a publicity. And what I want to know is, why did the police allow themselves to be in the, Are they thick? Are they stupid? Why would they do that when they know everybody is filming on a, on a phone? Why would they do that? I think, well, I think the police are under a lot of pressure at the moment. There's, you know, there's been I don't an care. Uptick, I don't, no, no, no. Well, no. I'm not saying I, it justifies that this, behavior. And this woman could have been winding them up. She could have been shouting abuse. The people behind her could. But there is absolutely no reason why they had to behave in the way that you described. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, she could be a professional protester. She could go to protests all over the place. She could be, she could just be full of hatred for the police. But you do not behave like that. They should have lifted her up, taken her away. There was no need to behave like that. Graham Wetton is a policing analyst and author of How to Be a Police Officer. You must be embarrassed, Graham. Um, uh, not really, no. I'm well, you flipping well should be. Why aren't you? Why aren't you embarrassed about the way these police officers behave? Why? After that lead, I'm not sure how I can. We hang on, hang on, mate. This is, hold on, hold on, Graham, hold on. This is a serious situation and you're laughing. That doesn't no. bode well. Be very careful, my friend, okay? What I'm going to say is, you're talking about picking her I'm laughing because you actually, you can't just bend down, pick somebody up in that scenario. It's not. I don't care what you can do. You don't hit them in the stomach. You it's don't tip them off the a chair. Well, you don't well, behave well, in that way. Mind. It wasn't a hit or it wasn't a punch. It was probably a push away, which looks like a punch. It's a push away. The it didn't look like a push away, away to me. Standing. Well, it's a push away. So it, it's, a, it's a heel palm strike, it looks like to me, which is an officer, officer safety train tactic. Heel palm so strike could be away. very... Listen, hang on. No, no, no. Just before you gloss over that, I know exactly what a heel palm strike is, and it can okay. be very, very nasty if it's used by somebody who's professional, and these guys are professionally using it. Yeah, and if are. they used it on a lady I knew, I would be very, very angry. Well, the people that are there were told to leave. They were been, uh, you heard this engage, explain, encourage. They'd have been told to leave, advised to leave, persuaded to leave, and then given a warning to leave and disperse. And so then what we do is we set, we set the police on people in this country? Is that what we do? We well, set them like rot them filers on they're, they're the police? Is that what we do, what Graham? They're trying, to, 